Hey guys, people on my back, I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Rick. Eric. And we're back with Ben 10. Alien Force. we Classic. dealt with Forever Knights and Dragons. Forever Dragon. Knights. And apparently, they didn't have forever. a single objective. No, forever. They had, they had one objective. They did? One. To kill the dragon. They Which failed. they failed. failed for a thousand years. Miserably. And then. If failed. I was doing something for a thousand years, yeah. I would hope that I would at least make. A little headway. Isn't that everyone's hope? Doesn't everyone hope they make headway on whatever project they're working on? I mean, they got more and more powerful alien weapons. It's just none of them worked. But Which, none of them worked. Why, what are the odds? Why don't these dragons rule the universe? Um, if none of these weapons work. They're benevolent. They're map makers. They're yeah. Peaceful. Candle well, makers. that guy was a map maker. Makers. They had a bunch of weapons. Never mind. But, but that's just for defense. <laughs> they don't need defense. They're invincible! And maybe immortal. You don't know that. Maybe they just didn't know their weakness. Maybe. Right? Maybe they're weak to sugar, and they never tried They're that. apparently weak to metal chains. I don't like this War of the Worlds thing. Sugar? Yeah. It's like yeah. water was their weakness. Sugar and water. No, that's that's another movie. No, you saying War of the Worlds, where water was a weakness. You're yeah. talking about Men in Black, I, where they went to the World's Fair. I thought War of the Worlds, things. they were sick by, like, cold. Huh? It's accurate. Signs no, water, water was signs. Yeah. World you guys was... don't know your shit. It spreads in water. What? Bacteria. Where's the one with the with the creepy... Oh, almost, buddy. Except for the bacteria. She looks happy. Beach episode? Uh-oh. Let's settle this tension. Mega cannonball. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> My Mark. dear Kevin, your nine gladiatorial bellicosity has once again outpaced your ratiocinative processes. <laughs> I don't know what you just said, but... Cannonball! Cannonball contest. <laughs> oh, no. He vaporized that water. Oh, attempting to short me out. Mm -hmm. Before you ever cause such an involuntary cognitive discharge, my intense electromagnetic storms would vaporize you. Break. To wit. Did he just have a thesaurus in there? He's mega smart. Look over there. What? A, a wizard. This gets a lot of traffic. That's an alien flower. Did you ever see a flower like that, Ben? Hey, you in the cloak. <laughs> Old woman! Let's just chase a stranger. Oh my god, okay. It's a witch. It was Gwen's right. magic. That was magic. Yeah, yeah. which she inherited. Mana. From alien <laughs> power. Right? Classic? This magic is alien stuff. Max. Max plus Verdona. Mm. Verdona. Who's Verdona? Grandma Verdona. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Dude, I love this car. I want this car. Cause it's green and black. Cool. Perfect. Does that look like I'm kidding, Tennyson? What is this called? You guys. Hood scoop. Yeah. I have to find a bathroom. There was a gas station a couple miles back. You gonna walk? I'll drive you. No. Keep watch. I'll be right back. Is she gonna float on like a pink thing? Can she make a magic toilet? I mean, she could, she but where sheets. would it go? Uh, in the ground. Look. Hmm. Onto the ground. Look, 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 old lady. She How do you know Max Tennyson? Talk. What rotten kids. Go away. Yep. Uh, uh, yep. We could really use our healer right now. Healer, our mage. <laughs> Should have approached that a little friendlier, I feel like. Uh, yep. Jet Ray! Become grass. Touch grass, Kevin. Oh, no. Ooh, he's all green. I'm paint. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm clear coat. Dude, she flies fast. Oh, a chase. I haven't had a good chase in ages. A broomstick. Does mean Grail will be able to fly eventually? Wow. <laughs> you fool. Man, Max really got around back in the day. Seemingly. 
witches, aliens. Answers, lady. We're done playing. Not until I put my toys away, sweetie. <laughs> Like Doc Ock. Transformed. Didn't it? <laughs> oh no. He's gonna sink in the water. Who are you? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We shouldn't have done that, Ben. Shooting things that you don't understand. Uh oh. Not a good idea. <laughs> that was very forever night of you. Flowers that she makes out of energy. No way. Did you say Max was your grandfather? Kiddo! Um, he was my grandpa too. Was. Really? Oh, can you project energy like your sister? Cousin. Cousin. And no. Shame. Shame. <laughs> I'm Verdona. We'll talk again soon. The heck? I think we just met our grandmother. Damn. All right then. Do you think she lives in Halloween Town? Dad, right. we need to talk. Camera doesn't know what that means. <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> when was the last time you met me? Magic runs in the family. I knew it. Honey. There really is no such thing. Is she an alien? Is that who Grandma is? Your grandma's an alien. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. <gasps> She's right at do. <gasps> Damn no. it, Grandma! I just magic. finished what polishing that. This is like bewitched. <laughs> Whenever her mom and Grandma show up. Yeah. Right? Her mom's like, God oh, damn it. Just that after the kids were grown and out of the house, I needed to reconnect with my anodyne heritage. And Max was busy saving Dude, you. Dude, look at that. He's like Green Lantern. He looks sweet. He's a plumber, Eric. I disrespect the plumbers. He didn't want me to worry. Even a fellow loaded with as much mana as Max is still just a physical being. What's mana? Loaded with mana. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Come home with me and join the real party. No. Leave. No. This is Get awesome. stuff to do. Wow. They'll miss you if you go. Really? Sure, but we've been recruiting more and more plumber kids, so we'd still have a pretty powerful team. Where are they? Do you feel the same way? No. Why would you even think about it? I want you around. The whole thing's lame. <laughs> Aww. Lame. 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 <laughs> Damn, I thought that was a keyword. <laughs> I want to stay here with my friends. But you don't even know what you really are, kiddo. We belong on anodyne among our kind. Let me show you. Ah, no! <laughs> Do they look different? I would assume. Yeah. Ugh. Just a disguise. Whoa. Whoa. This is what it means to be an anodite. So that's why she looks so good. Mature anodites are pure energy. Mm. We draw life from the mana around us. Draw it. You gotta admit, that's kinda cool. You're just too young to make up your own mind. Let me help you. I'll destroy your body and free the anodyte inside. Whoa, you'll hang on. And you'll be able to think much more clearly. Destroy? Her How about... Body? No, Grandma. <laughs> Kevin's like, I like her body. Yeah. <laughs> destroy my body? Lame. You're not serious. How do you know whether you like something if you don't try it? Donut, if you don't, girl. your body's destroyed, mm -hmm. Grandma. Hit the road, Kevin. Don't uh. you come back. Oh. 
What are we doing? Spider monkey. Really? What? What? Hey, what we're up. Capture, probably, right? It's like Doc Ock. It's kind of cool. Why, Grandma? What big trouble you have? <laughs> That's funny. She's kicking her. Kick her. She's kicking an old lady. Kick the hell out of Grandma. Bam! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Webbed up her energy hair. Dude, I don't know if I can pound your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Freezing, Kevin. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Did I think about like no, how that sounded at all? <laughs> Such a hesitation. Sensors let that one through. Oh gosh. Oh no, a spirit bomb! She's doing the uh, water bending thing where they draw all the water out of the, the lilies and stuff. Really She's the color of the space. Pounded her. Now she's pounding you. I should get out more often. But the webs disappear! Over in a second. We need daddy to get powers real quick or something. I was winking again, Orphan. No! She killed her parents. One day you'll learn to make a new body. Any kind you like. Listen to me! Huh? I am not going. I love having powers, but I like my life better. I like fighting monsters and saving the world. Anodites help tons of people. Scads. You could use your new powers however you want. After you've mastered them. 60 or 70 years. It's more than that. I like swimming in school and breaking boards with my hands and running and feeling tired afterward and kissing boys. I mean, all those good times you had with Grandpa. Oh. I was just a kid having my fun. Trust me. Grown-up parties are so much better. Grandma Verdona, admit it. You miss it, and you miss Max. That's what brought you here. Max should have been like us. He had a spark all his own. An adventurer, troublemaker. He was a lot like your little friend, uh... Curtis. Curtis. Kevin. Energy beings talking here. No. You're an energy being. I'm a girl. Maybe I've forgotten what that's like. Still, what I'm offering you is better. Think of how many more powers you'll have. I like my powers, but I love my friends and family. I'm not going with you, Grandma. No, I don't believe you are. Man, you shit. Well, it's been a wild little shindy, but Mama's got to go. How did you do that? She fixed, fixed everything and you could come with turned him out of a spider monkey out. form. Yeah, or not. Hey, she fixed the armature real quick. Had to Maybe. try. Goodbye, all. And then, way to stick up for your cousin. You're all right. You too, Grandma. She was trying to kill her. Some fun, no, she's just destroying her body. Grandma's <laughs> going to drop in now and again to see how you're doing. Oh, joy. <laughs> <laughs> so she can look like anything she wants, right? Any, any new body, yeah. And then not even just have a spaceship. Just fly a sp and blow up. It's a <laughs> firework. My grandma blew up like a firework. Come on, I know where this goes. The tree. 
It makes sense that someone connected to Max came to Max's secret fishing place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And laughed evilly. Hoping the uh, little fish would come back. Oh yeah, like the bigger fish. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's kind of what that's kind of what Grandma was doing, right? She was the bigger fish. All right, man. That's a lot of lore. Yeah. We got the mana thing that we had in the movie. I think it was. Mm. Is that what it was? Yes. Max has a not racing time to the other one. Destroy all aliens or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where it's like mana. What's mana? It's like uh, you'll find it. Yeah. Life energy. And it makes sense. The older you get, the more mana you have. Yeah, wow, all that's why awesome. all the old people are awesome. You know what? Pretty that sure checks that, out. That's, that's, sure? That's, yeah, it's 100 percent lore, man. Is it? Is that what they yeah. said? Yeah, they old said. Old have more energy. No, you missed. You probably missed the. Like, don't they have less? Like, isn't there life? Like, no. the, isn't there like life potential? No. And then, like, by the time you start getting like no. 90, like you got a lot less you life think, energy left. But actually, no. You actually have too much, and it overloads, and that's what. That's why you die. You gotta get it out. Yeah. So that's why people die of old age. Yep. It's just overloaded life, mana, energy. Too much mana. Just too much. Yep. Yeah. You should have shot some out when you were younger. Should have. <laughs> I don't think I can pound your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> what a lie. Dude. Dude, I don't think I can pound I, I feel like that was left in there on purpose, but like, as a kid, you're thinking of this, but as an as an adult, maybe. Oh, as a kid, there's a ton of it, too. <laughs> Depends on the age. Like, sure. I don't think, like, if Kanan was watching this, I don't think he'd think that. Yeah. But Leon would. <laughs> Coulson might. There's been a lot of times sometimes in, like, Leon and Coulson do, like. <laughs> like, what's that look? Why are you guys looking like that? What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you know! What have you seen? <laughs> oh, that's funny. But Kanan loves a good balls joke. Yeah. I told you about the Captain D's thing, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Captain D's nuts. Yeah, yes. that was Kanan. Like, like my six, seven year old, whatever he is. <laughs> so proud. <laughs> Driving by, like, oh, yeah. what do you guys want to eat? Captain D's nuts. Ah, <laughs> you just heard laughing back here. <laughs> He's his laughing at his son. own jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and told everybody when they got there. <laughs> oh, man. Doesn't okay. word, just, just tells his joke again. <laughs> they love the Mr. Beast candy. Feasibles. Uh, yeah, because they uh, have the D's nuts ones. Man. He's making so much money right? from those. And there's also the Deets nuts. They love that one too. Yeah. Deets nuts. Yeah. So Gwen, <coughs> all right. Yeah. So Gwen is half human. Yep. And half anodyne. Though technically, well, so is well. She's technically a she's a quarter. But yeah. She, te- yeah. But I don't think that matters. She has the spark. Yeah. Yeah. So she is energy inside of that flesh. Her body is real, but it's it's like it's right? incubating another form of possible life because she has so much mana. And the spark, those two things together, and if released from the mortal coil, can become an anodyne. Because Grandma was going to shoot off her skin right now, and there would be still no be more something in the body. Yeah. There would still be the be spark like in the mana quarter left of over. an anodyne that then could manifest into Gwen's more energy. body is an egg. Okay. And you can break the egg open and get out the... Will the, break, energy will the egg naturally break open it's a, at some point? It's a Pokeball. Maybe. I think it depends on the growth of her powers. Um, but the way she implies it is like her, she could only really train and grow her powers on Anodyne. Mm. Yeah. That's why she was saying, like, well, I could destroy your, your to, mortal body, and then you'd have no choice but to come with me. Let, let me rephrase that to, to their full potential. Sure. Like, yeah. they have gotten stronger already, and it probably sure. will get stronger. I mean, we've seen the, the future, and she was more powerful there, too. Is it but, just a technique thing, or are there properties of that planet? that factor in like the atmosphere or the mana i don't know i think it's probably it could be more a more technique thing it could be a more it has mana filled times planet Earth's gravity no mm-hmm. it's not Stronger. it's not a no. training thing like that no it's not a hyper tiger tamer well, thing cuz she, like, cause she said like like it would take her like 60 or 70 years to train to get to that point right but is that just because like everyone there is an expert, and therefore, if you're training with all those people, it's like learning Spanish in a classroom versus going to Spain, right? Where, like, you're surrounded by it, and therefore, you learn faster? Or is it more like Superman here is more powerful because of the nature of our son? 
I would assume that there's just more life energy, like able to be drawn from in some like way. They have a lot of mana. Yeah, like, like they got a bunch of like ants. ants. Everybody's old. Like they talk about life energy and stuff, and how you know Max was filled with it and everything too. But yeah. maybe the way it flows on their planet is different than the way it is on Earth, mm-hmm. right? Like she was able to draw from it at one point. Yeah, but maybe it like, it takes less effort to do that or something on Anadai. It's more so, pure. Maybe everything's all pink and super energy. I don't know. I'd like to take this moment to go, ha ha, uh, they think Max is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they think that. <laughs> yeah. And which it's going to be. Which was my only argument. Real that surprising. Scene. Wait. That like, was my only argument that they think Max is dead. I, thought your I never was that, argued with that. I thought your argument was that we are supposed to think that Max is dead. Uh, yeah, the show has communicated that Max is dead. The meta analysis. I feel like of this is, hang on, this I think you're changing goals. I'm not here. at all. Are I'm you saying all. that the implication is that the characters are to think he's dead, yeah. or that the people watching the show are to think he's dead? Both, because the intended audience is very young and usually trusts the audience or the characters and what they believe. I can see the logic. So the pound but, thing was meant for younger <laughs> audiences, not for older people that would not think Max is dead. Sure. I mean, it could just be <laughs> an innocent mind that we take and make it dirty. It's true. Yeah. Oh, I like the hit yeah. the road line as well. <laughs> that was good too. I was confused until I had it. Hit the nose. That different. And I really like Ben really. here. <laughs> his advice to Gwen, like mirroring what advice she gave him at the beginning of the series. Yeah. Like, yeah, me too. He's just a completely different character. Well, he I, got, he I was got, completely different. He got Everything older. I disliked about him is, is good. So look, I have Coulson, who I've told yeah. many times, like, quit getting angry at the games and make sure you look at yourself and you'll get better and you'll get less angry. Yeah. I have told him that over and over and over and over. Yeah. Did he stop? Sure. No! Yeah. <laughs> but eventually he'll probably grow out of it and get better with it. So I think Ben 10 was a kid. Oh, we ever lose this that anger. Older Man, I never. And getting better. I grew up, I never got better. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad wasn't trying to train you. <laughs> he was, just not in that. Uh, like Roy Kent used the anger to the very end. He did. Oh, I love sure. That's what made him great. But, his, but he wasn't being trained the other way either. Mm-hmm. He might have been. I don't know. Well, then your evidence is lacking. <laughs> my evidence that I have with my kid matches Ben 10, being told the same stuff over and over, not changing. Are uh, Charmcaster and them also like part Anodite? They said magic isn't real. Yes. But yeah. it also could be that a lot of what they use, it, if I remember, was also like relic-y things, too. They had like a bag of stuff and things. Say, so like they had a could, staff. The, the one guy had a staff, and he also had the, the belt of the, the medallions. Yeah. So right. maybe those are more of like alien technology that appear to be magic. Like Charmcaster had the same book that Gwen was reading out of, the, and she used those spells, right? Yeah. So that's probably anodite techniques. Heck, yeah. even the Forever Knights back in last time said, like, to aim for his chest piece or whatever, right? And that was just a voice translator thing that probably wouldn't have done anything to him anyway. Yeah. It would have just made him worse off. So it's more of, like, what you what they believe it to be versus mm-hmm. what it really is. Okay. Maybe. But we don't have any answers on that. Sure. And then I also, you know, wonder, because this show was made, like, directly after the last one. Was that always the case and they kind of had this idea? Or is it, just like, is it a retcon? I don't care if it is or not. I think it's cool. But I'm just curious. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't... I'm sure that's probably been answered. I don't necessarily look at them as retcons unless it completely contradicts what we're told versus... I feel like this just kind of builds Um, on it. I mean, a retcon isn't a contradiction necessarily. It's just a a different intention than what you had before. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, but a different intention implies that you had an intention that was explained and then you changed it. It's Whereas kind of this like, was uh, never really explained. Hmm. Tell me a better example. Did they intend to, to be magic in Ben 10, and now they're making that magic alien-based? Right. I think it's a fair question. And I don't think it really matters too much, like, watching the story. I'm just curious. Like, did they... Like, it's a retcon that Anakin had a paddle on. Like, it was never an intention of George Lucas to have for sure. that to happen. Then he's like, you know what? I'm going to have him have a paddle on. Because fuck it, I'm me, you know? <laughs> I, but, but that's because we're going back to a time where that could have happened, and we saw afterwards yeah. where that 
was not the case. And yeah, it was but never brought up and stuff. This, this that still fits. This in is a, a linear continuity. history, though. Yeah, sure. I get what you mean too. But it's I still like, think that goes under retroactive continuity. It's, I don't think it's, it's like, retroactive. I think it's just continuity. That's why I'm saying. It, 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 was it decided after this was decided? Right? Retroactive. So does that mean like his watch being different now is retroactive continuity? I mean, maybe not. We didn't have an explanation of the watch. Like, we had an explanation. This is magic. And now we have a different explanation. Sure, but we had the explanation of, like, here's a watch that has ten things in it, sometimes yeah. more than ten things. Now you have a different ten things. And it's like, is that retroactive continuity? Because now it's different? I don't know. We don't have an explanation of like, why there's ten different because things. Because we're going in that line and continuing that same story, like, yeah. we're getting more information as we go. You know what I mean? I get what Calvin's saying, too, because, like, yeah. with the Padawan thing, it's like, well, yeah, but in the story we had, yeah. he never had a Padawan. Sure. But then we're going back and placing one in there. Mm -hmm. And it seems more, like... A piece of new information that imposes a different interpretation on previously described events. Yeah. Sure. Typically used which, to facilitate a dramatic plot shift or account of inconsistency. Which yeah. I, I get Eric's point. I don't think it changes it to be inconsistent. No. But I can understand it's like, well, I thought it was magic, and now they're implying it's alien. Yeah, like I'm left but, over with the questions. But like the, the, only, sure. the only retroactive continuity thing there is that she said there is no magic it's it's we're aliens like that's the big thing mm -hmm. right yeah. yeah which is why i'm asking like did the authors always intend this to happen or was it a shift so if they did does it make it not retroactive continuity is no. that what you're saying no if they intended it to always happen yeah then it wouldn't be a retcon it would be like well no we're just revealing the story more like in the next star wars movie if they're like oh there's no force you're actually just an alien that seems like a retcon of yeah. the entire everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's similar to this, right? Yeah, but we have a lot of knowledge on what the force is. But I mean, sure, but we, we have... We didn't have a lot of knowledge on what the magic was. It's just she had magic. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, it, was, it was never explained to have a contradiction. But the yeah. masters of it believed it to be magic. And again, right? I'm not like sure. accusing the show of anything. I'm sure. just no, curious. I, I just think no. that retcon is like an overused like buzzword. It gets used for everything... Whenever a plot changes or has a twist or anything, it just gets thrown out there. And uh, I, I definitely sometimes. see the difference between ret retcon and just like a contradiction or a or a mistake that's like trying to get smoothed over. Like you can just change what you intended before. You know, like, like I don't think Lucas is... didn't intend for Luke and Leia to be brother and sister. But as the story went, he changed that context, right? And now, when you watch it, you know it is, which is why you get freaked out when they kiss and Empire Strikes Back. Sure. You know? Like, I'm, it's not a bad thing. I'm just curious what the intention yeah, was. I, I, no, ju I just mean, is. like, meta-knowledge of a thing happening mm -hmm. gets explained as a retcon instead of if your only knowledge of the story is from what the story is telling you, mm -hmm. then you wouldn't believe that to be a retcon you would just know it as to be a revelation of their actual relationship, right? Agreed. Yeah. Hmm. Which is why that's I'm what I mean. That's why I'm just curious like, like which one it is. A writing change is not necessarily a retcon if you know the backstory. Mm -hmm. Is it? I'm curious thinking about this now. Like, is the idea of the Earth being the center of the universe, and then after more information, we learn that it's not, and it's rotating around the sun, which also isn't like the center of the universe either. Is that a retcon? Or is that just like we've learned more information no, and things science. have changed? Science just updates as you get more information. So is that... Is, is that retcon not, only has to that, do with, with fiction and stories. I don't think retcon has anything to do with... Well, yeah, but if I was writing a story about yeah. that and being learned, yeah. like, and then in the second movie you're like, ah, it wasn't this. Then yeah, you would be changing the continuity is that a retroactively. Retcon? Yeah. Like, I think that, it all comes down to intent. Mm -hmm. Sure. But that's not the continuity. It's just the, the character's flawed understanding of what... Yeah, so but did the author is. know that or not? That, that's where the retcon comes. I, I think in. that's mm. that's. I mean, that's the that's the clear use of, ret, of, of retcon. Like that's the only real appropriate use of it. I understand that people use it inappropriately. I don't think I'm using it inappropriately here. Like you can have lazy writing and terrible twists yeah. or whatever, but like if that's their intention, it's not a retcon. Yeah. If their intention is lazy writing. No, if their intention oh, was that okay. the, the alien. Magic was always alien magic, because she in fact was a, is an alien and not learning magic from a book. Hmm. I'm gonna say it, it was. I mean, 
I'm trying to think of anything else that hasn't been alien related. Like we had these and questions, had and we were I mean, we were convinced that she was part alien back in the first series before any question of it being like magic. Or well, that was alien an option, stuff. but yeah, I mean that was. I mean, we predicted it though. Yeah, no, it was a theory. It just sure. now it's confirmed, you know. Sure. But was it the intention? I mean, I don't think it matters one way or the other. I'm just curious of what the writer intention was. Sure. I think it's cool when you can take all these things and bring them into a story as satisfying as it was Max's, you know, it's your grandmother, so, <laughs> you know, that's kind when, of interesting. When you have different writers, what's that? I mean, that, you, usually writers create like a Bible of the show and that Bible can be changed retroactively. Sure. I'm just, I'm just wondering, like, when you say, like, if one writer wrote it as an intended this, yeah. and then another writer comes in yeah. and then, like, describes it as, like, it is this. Then they're retconning another writer's intention. If they, yeah. But it, I just, okay. Yeah. If they're contradicting it, not if does they're it, further explaining it. If they're changing the author's Does intention. it have to contradict it? No, it has to change the intention. Or does it have to change? Okay. It, it does in the definition. Hmm. It has to be contradictory. It doesn't have to necessarily That's be the contradictory. definition. He's saying well, the definition of retcon is well, that Well, there was an or in there. there. Yeah, there was an or, right? Like, I came in towards the end. Like, it can be contradictory. It doesn't necessarily have to be contradictory. It can be new information that changes there's, the context. So, no, there's no or. What does it say? It imposes a different interpretation on previously described events. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean that's, that doesn't mean it's but it's still contradictory. contradictory. It's just a different interpretation. Different interpretation. That's a contradiction. Is it? Hmm. Is that the definition of it's not a continued interpretation. Sure. Yeah. How about this? I, mean, I don't want to. I don't want to get stuck in sem- semantics and stuff. How about is Rogue One a retcon? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, the retcons aren't bad. I love retcons. Yeah, I'm just curious. Yeah. Like many of my favorite story twists are retcons. I guess retcons I've always looked at as something that like is drastically changing what everyone understood things to be. Not drastically. I mean, drastically is a. It depends on yeah, what it depends. You element yeah. drastically to be, but I feel like it is a considerable change from what it was meant to be yeah. originally. So, was this meant to be pure magic, or was it always meant to be alien? Uh, I, don't know. I uh, feel like it's abilities. one of those things where it's you know it's the same as like uh, like in Marvel where you talk about like oh it's magic it's like mm-hmm. oh well it's science you just don't understand it yet it was just like sure. here's magic you guys don't understand yeah. what it is so everyone called it magic until yeah. we understood what it was. But I don't feel... To me, I don't feel like that's a retcon. I feel like it's a... Yeah. You're, you're now getting a better understanding of what it was, where you just didn't know what it was. You just yeah. called it magic. So, yeah. So, I, like, people didn't understand why some women didn't get the plague. Mm-hmm. So they called them witches. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't say it was a retcon that they found out that they had cats and they ate the mice so they didn't get sick. Yeah. I don't think it's a retcon. It's just... No, it's like, that's like... Now we understand it yeah. better, you know? Like, that's kind of the idea. Yeah, an author it. isn't necessarily ignorant of their own story. They, they can reveal new parts that they didn't intend, you know? Sure. Well, but, sure. But, like, to say that that's ignorance if that was in a story base, I feel like... Saying it's not ignorance it would be a... Like, that's just them expanding the story. In real life, it's... Like, the, the, what you're talking about is ignorance. Sure. But yeah. if it's, like, in a story and stuff like that, and you're like, oh, the witches, yeah. and then you're like, oh, they weren't, they were Then this. that was intentional. I feel like there's... So it wouldn't be a retcon. Sure, but if you had... If I wrote the one part where, like, there were witches, and then yeah. Calvin wrote the next part, and he's like, actually, they weren't. Here's did you when, they weren't. when you wrote it, did you intend it to be witches? Like, m- pure magic? I, and then I changed it retroactively. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. So your, your thing is just, like, a writer has to intend it to be one way, and then someone else has to intend it to be the other way? And then that's or right, the same that, that makes the retcon. Yeah. Not a matter of who's assuming what's going on. So yeah, it's, not from, it's, an, just it's not from an audience perspective. It's just from a writing perspective. Um, like you can't have... It's not a retcon if the audience thought it was this, but the writer's always intended to be this way. Right. That's not a retcon then? No. I mean, and generally in those situations, like writers will kind of like leave little, little clues and stuff to, you know, if it's, again, like, super intentional. Like... That's why I think we predicted it so easily yeah. in the first show. Yeah, and again, I'm not saying I'm like, this is dumb or something. I'm, I'm just curious on the... I mean, I don't feel like it's the right con, because I feel like, like I said before, I feel like through Ben 10, everything we've had that's always been, been something an alien. has been alien-related. Even when we had, like, there's this werewolf thing, yeah. and it was an alien. There's a mummy, mm-hmm. and it's an alien. Like, mm-hmm. everything we've had has been alien. So I don't, yeah. I don't think it's a retcon to be like, it's been alien. 
Yeah. Even whenever we had the movie too, I mean, they were like mana. So what's that? You'll yeah. find out. It's like oh, so mana must be related to yeah. some kind of alien stuff. There's also an alien talking about it. So I don't know. I would say I don't think if the odds that's what the author said, I would 100 percent accept it without any sure. further resistance. <clears throat> Yeah, like I think the show is better for it that it is just alien stuff. It keeps it more yeah, consistent. Yeah, and that it's all just alien. Yeah, when we Three first times. had Magic introduced, right. I was I remember being like, I don't know if I like that. Yeah. <laughs> it just seems weird to like, especially confuse kids. I guess with like, why not just reveal that in the first series? I guess. I mean, you have Marvel who has radioactive superpowers, aliens from another planet, mm -hmm. magical powers. Like well, yeah, but there's all kinds of things that give these people in the same universe magic. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes, there's but Dracula like, in it. But Spider Man doesn't say, Oh, my spider powers are magic. No. And then he a few issues later it comes back and says, Oh, they're actually from this radioactive spider. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, I guess not. But yeah. in the same I mean I'm not talking about Spider Man. I'm saying Spider Man has this and then you go and you have Scarlet Witch who has magic. Like I don't think it's weird to be like Here's different things no. in the same thing. That's what I was saying. It's not. That's like, if it was just magic, and there's aliens, I mean, like, Marvel and other entities have been doing that exact same thing, where there's aliens, weird radioactive powers, weird super mm -hmm. super magic powers, like, all kinds of stuff. Sure, but it would be one character's through line of, like, well, we utter, like, I understand my powers to be this, but now they're this. Right? It, so you think having it switch to being, like, it's alien power now is weird? Is that what you mean? Like, Apocalypse yeah. was thought to be a god, and then turns out, oh no, he's the first mutant. <laughs> you know? Like, it's. If he was. If the story started out like, no, he's a god, and then we changed it for him to be a mutant, that would be a retcon, you know? But it's not because that was just in well, the story. I wasn't about retcon. Right? No, yeah. I was talking about, like, if it's weird to have magic and aliens in the same series. Yeah. Sure. Right? Yeah. You, was, you were saying, too, sure. like, it felt weird to bring in magic into this. Well, just because, I mean, every single universe, like, will try to establish its rules as quick as possible, right? Sure. And I mean, when, when, when we watched the first thing with magic, I was like, oh, okay, now the rule includes magic sure. as well. And now we're learning, actually, it doesn't, that was just our ignorance the, at the time, in the story, and the character's ignorance at the time. I was just curious if that and, was always the author's intention. And Max not telling us stuff. Yeah, Which is course. what he has done yeah. the whole series. Continually. Right? Yeah. There's tons of times he hasn't told us what's going mm -hmm. on. Or what he knows. Yeah. Or who Grandma is. I mean, or, yeah, that or, means or, that or Max how? never told Gwen Any, that. No, right? no. Yeah. and he I feel like it's also consistent with his character. Like, he sure. didn't tell us He didn't tell us stuff right away about Vilgax. He didn't tell us stuff right away about plumbers. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell us stuff right away like, about a lot of things. He yeah. knew what the Omnitrix was, but he didn't tell Ben about it. Mm -hmm. Didn't tell Ben what it did. Yeah. Didn't warn him or anything. Sure. He was familiar with Bill Gax. Bill yeah. Gax knew who Max, Max Tennyson was, yeah. but that didn't come up until it had to come up. <laughs> and so it, it even didn't come up all the way. Like, he would tell him what he needed to know, but didn't tell him any of the backstory. Like, Max could have been like, Gwen, you're part alien. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he could have been. But he never did that. <laughs> and, like, she thought the only reason she had powers because of that lucky charm, you know? Sure. And then she didn't have it and was started able to be, be doing things again. And we were like, Why do you think on? he didn't say anything? I don't know. Why didn't he ever say anything with... I don't know. I, I'm just curious. I'm not, like, accusing... It, yeah. it could be that he's used it, to his secretive nature from his job, yeah. that he just didn't tell people anyway. That's just, like, his know? default. He wanted to yeah. protect her from the grandmother. Yeah. Like he didn't want her to go hey. to that planet, maybe. Yeah. Uh, hey, I... He doesn't want to disregard the body. Whenever they have characters say, like, I'm not going to tell you about this thing because I want to protect you from it. Yeah, but it's like I'm going to actively keep the knowledge of of what you could be prepared for away from you. Yeah. So that then, when that thing inevitably that I know is coming for you comes yeah. for you, you're completely defenseless. <laughs> yeah, I know. I hate it. Uh, yeah, I, I, and sometimes that is kind of a symptom of like I actually have new information I want to introduce, and I need to give that to an authority figure. So I'm gonna give it to Max. Why sure. didn't Max say anything? I don't know, make something up. <laughs> hmm. But there is no authority of Max right now. No. No, there's not. It's a damn shame. We could ask him. We could. But well, we can't. Frank didn't seem that worried. No. As a son, right? Yeah. 
They're like, oh, Grandpa's not here anymore. He was I mean, like, oh, no. Gwen's really the only person we've also, seen, like, grieve. <laughs> at one point, I, I was like, why didn't, like, Frank run out there and be like, Mom, stop! You know, or anything. He's just watching from the from this hole in their house. Like, oh, he probably God. has, like, an anti-magic <laughs> bunker in the basement yeah, in case guess. she ever goes crazy or something. I mean, I don't know what the connection is with them. I don't know how much she cares about her kids she has here on Earth kind of thing. She or doesn't seem to care a whole lot. I mean, lot. she spies on him enough that he's learned and how to figure out know. when. Or at least... She didn't leave until the kids were grown, she said. I'm just yeah. saying, yeah, like, if you're a teenager and you're looking for some privacy, yeah, you're going to know when mom's watching or not, right? Sure. Yeah. You're going to be able to sense it. <laughs> Don't you ever complain about Aunt Joy again. <laughs> I love that. Gosh. Yeah, that was good. All right, well, that's a game changer of an episode, and I'm uh, looking forward to see where it goes from here. Hmm. Damn it. Thank you guys for watching our reaction to Ben 10 Alien Force. If you want to check out more, you can right now. We're at patreon.com slash blindaway where you can see the next, up to the next four reactions right now. He's retconned that mouse off the table. He always intended. No, it's true. He did. <laughs> he did not. But you'll never know.